Season nine, episode three, it's the North Star Show. I'm your host, Bruce Krentz. Behind the camera, a guy that's been doing this show longer than some of the kids on the team. Yeah, that's right. I've been around. Paul Anderson, also rumors that Bufflin might come back. He's still hanging on to that thread, holding out hope. You? I think he's coming back too, Paul. Yeah? Oh, definitely, yeah. This is gonna happen. All right, here's hoping. I'd love to see Big Buff back. Mike Ross joining me, coach of the North Stars. Mike, we're seven games into the season. Haven't quite got a win yet, but uh, from talking to Coach Murray a little bit before we did the show, he was really impressed with what he saw out of the guys, especially in the second game this past weekend. So some of your thoughts on this past weekend and maybe the, the season so far. Uh, you know what? We're, we're doing, uh, we're getting better. So uh, you could see it in uh, some of the, the shots that are, are going down and uh, we're, we're getting better. Unfortunately, we ran into a really, really good team this weekend. So it's hard to hard to gauge on on how you really did but uh, we thought the guys came out and and didn't give up so and we're we're watching what they do so we we thought uh, we feel that we're heading in the right direction it still feels to me like the chemistry is great we were talking to some of the guys here and just bouncing around the room and uh, it really feels like a tight group this year i don't know if maybe they're just putting that on for the camera and putting it on for us but it does seem like a real good group of kids this year oh definitely i, I can't say enough about it it's uh you come to the room and everybody's positive and joking around having a good time so yeah i know great kids great kids and uh, you've, you've seen a few different uh, years of North Stars. You had a couple of kids gone through, and now you've been coaching a little bit. So you probably, like, you can feel it in your bones and your gut. Any guys you think are going to start to break out in the next couple of weeks? Is there a few people that are sort of impressing you or you think are, are really gaining momentum? Yeah, yeah, you know, I'm really impressed with uh, Conroy Halcrow over these last couple uh, last games. He's, he's uh, you know, coming up there. And uh, the 15-year-olds, wow, they're, uh, they're really playing well. Uh, and of course, uh, we got uh, uh, Foe and Hill. And I don't, I don't think they've even started yet. You know, so they're, uh, you know, they're they're huge for us. Well, they they really seem like they're they're just starting to embrace sort of that role as a veteran that they know they got to lead the team, and and they're starting to play with a lot of confidence. So that's what it looks like. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. and so do the other other guys too. The the leaders we have uh, quite a few leaders on the team. So. I'm looking out for them to 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 pick it up because I know I what I know what they can do, <laughs> and we'll shout out a few of the 15-year-olds. We've got uh, the four stick boys from the 13-14 season on a segment coming up. It's uh, North Star flashback, first time ever. So and uh, well, two of them are rookies. So we got Brady and Ian Snooks, and then Morgan Beauchamp and Chris Pin, who's sort of a rookie this year, but I mean he had some pretty good experience last year. Um, you can tell a bunch of those kids have played together for a few years because you really see the chemistry in them now, even though they're kind of young. Oh, definitely. You could tell that they, you know, and they feed off of each other too. So it's, uh, that's kind of neat there that there were stick boys. It's, yeah, no, it's pretty, pretty cool pick we got right there. Going to be another tough weekend this weekend. You're down in Winnipeg for two with them and one with Central Plains, I think. So probably some tough games in the city. What are you looking for out of the guys? You know, just continue on where we left off. Um, you know, I thought our discipline was fairly good. Uh, our uh, defensive game in our own zone is, is getting better and uh, just continue on building. It's, uh, you know, uh, when we stay out of the box, good things are going to happen. Find a way to score a few more goals too. It's, it's tough to win 2-1 games in this league. Yeah, you just have to start uh, bearing down, getting pucks to the net and do the little things right and those goals will start popping in for you. Absolutely, it's going to start happening. I feel good things. Coach Mike Ross right here on the show. We've also got, like I said, the North Star flashback, the four, four stick boys, Brady Krentz, Grandma. Going to love to see him on the show. It took three episodes to get him out here. Ian Snooks, Chris Pinn, and uh, Morgan Beauchamp. And then we talked to Odin Church. Great interview with him, man. Uh, what a story. He didn't start playing goal until Pee Wee. Oh, really? <laughs> wow. His dad, his dad finally cracked and bought him some gear. Oh, good, good on his dad. Good, good choice. <laughs> good thing. Yeah. Absolutely. We've got all that right here on the North Star Show.
Here we are in the Thompson Hockey Hall of Fame, a place that Odin Church will be someday under the watchful eye of Kelly Davis, Terry Murray. You know any of these guys? Um, I, Corbin, yeah, them? I think I've seen a couple of these guys. Yeah. yeah. I know most of these guys. Pretty good players. You'll be here someday. Odin Church, uh, let's start right here. Where are you from? From Flum Flum, Manitoba. Beautiful. And uh, where did you play last year? Last year I moved to Swan and lived with my grandma and played high school hockey there. And then, yeah, the year before that, I guess I played Wolves here. Wow. And before that, everything, Flint Flint Flon Bomber through and through before that? Yeah. All yeah, it was always the Bombers playing double A or A. Wow. We, and how was the high school hockey experience? I sometimes think that it'd be nice if Thompson had a high school hockey. Did you like playing that? Was it a pretty good, uh, good quality? Yeah, like I thought the league was actually pretty good. There's a lot of teams there that were strong. Some were weaker than others, but like it was actually not as bad as I thought it was going to be. It was a pretty strong league. And uh, lots of travel, or were there a lot of places close by? Uh, like the longest travel was like three hours, and we had like the longest trip. We were the northest <laughs> team there was. <laughs> so yeah, it was nothing. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. <laughs> guys aren't even warmed up on the bus. Nobody's got their dance moves going. Nobody's, uh, their rap battles are just heating up after three hours, wouldn't you say? <laughs> yeah, no, it was nothing like it is here for the trips. <laughs> <laughs> totally different. Lots of the new guys say that uh, one of the things they like the most is the trips, even though I think some other teams would probably dread it. So have you, uh, do you enjoy the bus trips? Yeah, I love them. Last year when I was in Swan, they did not like the three-hour trip. They were saying how long it was and complaining. I was, I was like, it's not even long. <laughs> this is ridiculous. No kidding. Who could even have a sleep? Uh, any other highlights of playing with the guys so far this year? Who's your billet family and how's that been? I live with the Snookses. Um, Ian, he's on the team this year, and I love it. It's fun. Good. Yeah, great billets. Perfect. Great, yeah. great place to be. And uh, how's the move to Thompson been? So you, you lived in Swan last year. You lived in Flint Flint, so you bounced around a little bit. But uh, how's the move to Thompson been tough? Uh, you know, it probably would be a bit tougher if it wasn't for living with the Snookses. Like, uh, living with them makes it a lot better and makes it easier on me, especially since I knew I'm playing Wolves and stuff. So, Pretty, yeah. pretty comfortable place to end up. Yeah, it is. Fantastic. And when you're not playing hockey, what are some of your favorite things to do? My, uh, my intel told me maybe a little bit of piano. Can you oh. tickle the ivories a bit? <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, I guess I did play piano growing up a little bit. I went to piano lessons for a couple of years, and then I like to I like to go fishing and quad and skidoo and like to play a lot of soccer. Whew. Yeah, that is perfect. Do all the uh, all of the northern stuff. Uh, I played piano growing up and still play a little bit, so it's it's a good yeah. it's it's a great way to pass a little bit of time. Um, highlight of the year so far this year? How uh, in the games and with the guys? What's the, what's the highlights? Ah, uh, in the games it's like just playing and having fun, enjoying the game. And then off ice is definitely the bus rides. Bus rides are awesome. <laughs> Can't go wrong with them. <laughs> Always too good. And we got some great stuff coming. We haven't won any games yet this year. We know there's going to be some highlights. But growing up, uh, what were some of your highlights from your minor hockey career, which seems kind of funny because what are you, 15, 16? Yeah, I'm 16. And growing up, it was definitely winning Provs, Bantam first year. My second year as a goalie was when we won Provs. And then... I guess playing a little bit of spring hockey, I got to play against like Connor Roulette. I remember it was like my last tournament as a player. And I just remember he beat me in a face off with his stick upside down. <laughs> <laughs> so it was probably a good switch to go to goalie. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. That, that, that is a tough loss. Uh, so you, you haven't been playing goal very long. How old were you when you switched over to playing goal? Um, I was Pee Wee second year, so that was grade seven, 13 or 12. I can't remember how old that is. Wow, so you don't have, oh. don't have too many years under your belt. And when you switched over, uh, did you feel more comfortable as a goalie or did you kind of do it because you just got more ice time and there was no other goalies? Well, I always wanted to be a goalie growing up. I was just, like, never really allowed. And then, like, he, my dad told me I could, so then I became a goalie. And growing up, I'd always switch with um, the one goalie that was my age because he was around my size, so I'd always go in for one game of the season or one practice, and I enjoyed it a lot. So then became full-time in Pee Wee. You finally wore your parents down, or did they make you get a paper route or like go on a bottle drive to pay for the gear? I finally wore them down. <laughs> you couldn't take it anymore. Yeah. <laughs> well, on behalf of all of us, let's let's thank them for letting you play goal, because uh, the North Stars are happy to have you, and you finally got to do what you love. Perfect. Yeah, exactly. Life is grand. Odin Church, right here on Meet a Rookie. It's the North Star Show. Hi, I'm Blake Lahonen. I'm from Funfon. I play right wing. I'm number 28, and my favorite player is Elias Patterson. <laughs> First ever North Star flashback right here on the North Star show. 
Here, hold that for a second. We got Brady Krentz, we got Chris Pinn, Ian Snooks, and Morgan Beauchamp. Four stick boys from the 13-14 season, all on the North Stars now. First time ever in franchise history, I think, that all four stick boys played together a couple years later. Brady, Graham is going to love this. We finally got you on the show. It's only episode three. Say hi to Graham. Yeah. Hello, <laughs> Graham. <laughs> Going to, enjoy, going to enjoy the show. Uh, what do you remember from your year of being a stick boy? What was your, your highlight? Uh, I think I just liked hanging in the dressing room with all the guys. Really? Just being around the team. That's what you got? All right. Yeah, well, it inspired you to big things. You're on the team. Chris, what do you remember? Uh, it's just to remember being with all the guys, and they, they welcomed us pretty well. All right. Uh, I remember the dance battles. <laughs> Sewer with all the boys. <laughs> Who was the best at the dance battles? Oh, that was me when I got in there. I was, I was the best. I was always the winner. <laughs> Stick boy won it all. Uh, who was your favorite player on the team that year? Um, I guess I have to say my brother Aaron. <laughs> I can tell him. <laughs> That's fair. You'd be in big trouble. Grandma, Grandma would not be impressed if he didn't prick his brother. Yeah. Um, I'd have to go with Brady Keeper. Brady, Brady. All right, we'll give you that. Uh, Tanner Hep. Ooh, Tanner Hep's a great pick. I'd have to go with Trent Laycock on that one. Oh, Trent Laycock, another great pick. So you guys are on the North Stars now. Uh, where did you play last year? Phantom AAA Wolves. And what was the record? What did you guys have? 15 wins? Uh, no, we had six, but six. close, like six. pretty much the same. <laughs> All right, this year we're shooting for more. Where did you play last year? Uh, I played Junior A in Cold Lake, Alberta. All right, and how was that? That was a pretty cool experience. Nice, nice. Feel good to be home, though? Yeah, it's nothing like home. Absolutely. Last year? I also played on the Norman Wolves with Brady. Beauty. I played here with the North Stars. And do you feel more comfortable this year? Loving being back? Yeah, I do. Um, I feel more comfortable. It's just I don't know, great time having new guys here and new team. And, it's, I don't know. it's all good. What's your, what's your highlight of the year so far? For Most of you guys are rookies. You were here last year, but highlight of the year so far? Just being a vet, bossing these guys around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it seems weird. Does he, get, does he boss you around? A little bit. He tries anyways. Cheeky, cheeky. Highlights so far? I'd have to say when the mop got brought down to me. Mop boy. <laughs> I don't, what's the story? Um, you know, Ryan Monias was the mop boy last year, and he passed the torch on to me. I'm, I, don't get the, I don't get the mop thing. What do you, when you're cleaning up? Yeah, you, what it is? you mop down the bus after everyone gets off. <laughs> Wow, that's good rookie stuff right there. Highlight of the year so far? Uh, I think being in the hotel rooms with the guys, just joking around. Back, back hanging with some of your friends. I love it. Brady, so far? I think being on the first bus trip with all the guys. And uh, being an even zero in the last game. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was a <laughs> highlight. No, no minuses, no pluses no. either. Hate it, hate it when that happens. Uh, favorite player to play, play with this year so far? Um... I'll go with uh, Jordan Foe. Ooh. I gotta say Lance Bobesco. Yeah. Morgan Beauchamp. <laughs> <laughs> pressure's on, pressure's on. You can't say Snooks. Oh, I can't say Snooks? Okay. I'll go, I'll go J.R. Sinclair then. Beauty, and last question. I didn't prep you for this, but uh, what's your uh, Selly gonna be? Favorite Selly? Oh, it might be the Matthews one. But here in the crowd. Gotta throw it. <laughs> uh, I'll just go to the classic, sweep the ice. All right. I'm more of like an arrow type of guy, you know? <laughs> Can't wait to see it jump yeah. up against the glass. No, I'd probably sweep the ice on my first goal, too. <laughs> <laughs> sweep the ice. North Star flashback, open it to the last page. Give him, give him the same smile that uh, you guys had back in 13 14. <laughs> Brady, Chris, Ian, and Morgan right here on a North Star flashback. We're about to punch our time cards. Work's over. Paul and I are about to end our shift. Thanks for watching. This is the North Star Show. I want to thank all of our guests, Brady Krentz, Ian Snooks, Morgan Beauchamp, and Chris Pinn, the four rookies from the 13-14 season that are all on the team now. Quick fact check on Chris Pinn. He said Jared Hepp was his favorite North Star that year. 
He was the captain the year before. He wasn't even playing that year. Chris was a stick boy two years in a row, though. We're giving him a pass, plus Jared. What a great player. I want to thank Odin Church as well, the piano playing goaltender who started playing goal in Pee Wee. Uh, thanks to his dad for buying him the gear. We're loving having him on the North Stars this year. If you're looking for something to do this weekend, there isn't going to be any North Star hockey. We're down south for two, but the NCN Flames are in town. They've got a really great brand of hockey. It's going to be a lot of fun. And if you're looking for something totally different, why don't you hit the Norman Jazz Festival, 1.30 Sunday afternoon. It's a silver collection, a little arts to go with your sports. For Paul Anderson, I'm Bruce Krentz. Thanks for watching the North Star Show.